So nature repeats herself without repeating herself. So you find patterns uh, that uh, reoccur in all kinds of unexpected places. Now we're doing hemlock trees and hemlock, the hemlock branch is, is the most graceful of all of the, of the uh, evergreens. And with the scale of the piece that we're working on, uh, it's, there is a moss which grows uh, right here and it looks like uh, little ferns. And it can be used to make hemlock foliage and that's what we're going to do. We want to pick it out so that it doesn't have too much of the other kind of moss in it. See, this is perfect right here. Look at that. See that? I saw some more. Here it is. Yeah. A lot of it here. I think that'll be about enough for the whole painting. Now I'm separating the moss into workable small pieces. And when I start to put them on the picture, you will see why I did that. But the first thing I'm going to do is coat the moss entirely with acrylic gel. Uh, acrylic uh, matte medium. I'm going to use a matte medium for this. And I'm going to go ahead and color it. It's a beautiful color, a color that's just practically unreproducible as it is, except it won't hold that color. Even though it's sealed up inside of plastic, it will lose that color and turn uh, kind of kind of tannish, uh, retaining very little of the green uh, over time. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make a coating for it now that will have the the base color the the deeper green will be in the color in the uh, in the medium and uh, then when the moss sets up I will put two or three other greens on top of it to touch it you know just touch it lightly on the surface to, to bring it back to something I'll never get it that beautiful <laughs> but I'll try. Uh, now I'm going to get some green over here this is Cheap Joe's uh, handy dandy olive green, the all purpose green for practically everything. Uh, and it's deep enough so that uh, I can use it at this phase and then uh, it will be the base color. And, uh, and then I'll put the light on top of it as it dries. I made a mess. Now I just mix this with my brush as I use it. I was so glad when Joe started offering his own line of pigments. They really do save a lot of money and they're high quality and uh, and he keeps uh, he keeps adding new colors to the line all the time and uh, it's very it's it's neat it's nice.
Now I'll flip this over, do the back side, be sure it's completely coated. It mostly is. I think I'll use fresh gloves. I think I'm going to work in this area up here where uh, there won't be too many branches. There'll be some branches that I'll, like I, like I pick this up and put that behind it, sometimes I do that. I, I'll probably have to do that with some of these topmost branches, but uh, I'll be able to pick that moss and, and those uh, supporting branches up and do that. Now I want to pull this out so that it gets a mostly horizontal kind of feeling because that's the way hemlocks are. I'm purposely keeping this up off the off these branches that need need to be painted, uh, and I'm just going ahead and putting this on just to show how it goes. Uh, actually, uh, I would normally go ahead and finish all the branches and be ready with everything before putting. This on, but this is going to work fine. 